Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 4.1, Problem 4. This is Section 4.1, Problem Number 4. It says create a scatter diagram for the data, and we have seven data points for this one. 22, 874, 31, 736, 38, 701, 44, 662, 57, 550, 60, 45, 63, 377. Now what makes this problem of drawing the scatter diagram a little different than the previous problem is the numbers have gotten really big. So I have a graph started, but the question is how are we going to label it to accommodate these really big numbers? You, what you want to do is base your number scale on the largest value you're going to have to accommodate on your graph. So for the x's, the biggest number is 63. Typically, I like to have somewhere around 10 lines for my graph. So um, the other thing, too, is the x's and y's don't have to run on the same interval. As long as they're labeled clearly, the x's could run 1 at a time, 10 at a time, 5 at a time. The y's could run 1 at a time, 10 at a time, 5 at a time, different from the x's. So for the x's, if I have... For a 63, I could go by 10s. I'd need 6 or 7 lines, which wouldn't be bad. By 5s, 12 lines would get me up to 60. So either one is pretty good. Um, different people might do it different ways. I'll choose by 5s, though 10s really isn't a bad choice either. So for my x values, I will label the x uh, axis 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. And my biggest x value is 63, so 65 is big enough, and that's a nice way to fill it up. Again, by tens would have been okay too, as long as you label it. Now, my biggest y value is almost 900. So a sensible choice would be 100 at a time. And you could do something else, but if I went by, say, 50s, I'd need 18 lines. It's getting a little bit more. I like to have around 10. So if I do 8 lines, 12 lines, that's okay as long as it's pretty close to 10 is, is what I like to get. Um, 18 is probably more than I want, so you can do it as long as you label it. I'll go 100 at a time, I'll, and I'll need at least nine lines. I can make one more. Extra lines don't cost you anything. So I'll label it 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Now that's really enough. I'll put in one more thousand. I'll just let the rest of the graph kind of go to waste. So now I can start plotting the points now that I have my x-axis and y-axis labeled. The first point is 22, 874. 22 for x, 874 for y. So I want to go over 22. I don't have exactly 22 on my number scale, but right between 20 and 25, you can figure it's 22.5. So go almost halfway between 20 and 25. For the y value, up 874. Again, I don't have 874 exactly on my number scale. Three quarters of the way between 800 and 900 is 875. So by eye, it wouldn't really look any different. So if I go over, let's see, we said it was 22, up 874. It'd be something that look about like that. So the next point, 31 for the x value, 736 for the y. Over 31, and I don't have exactly 31 on my number scale, so a slight bit past the 30, and up 736. So if I do 700, a third of the way between 700 and 800 is 733 and a third. So 736, a very tiny bit higher, by eye that really the same height. If I follow it out until I'm over the 31, put the point about there. 
The next one, x is 38, y is 701. So over 38, again, I don't have 38 exactly, so find the 40. Right between 35 and 40 is 37.5. 38 is a very tiny bit more than 37.5. And for the height 701, again, by i, it's going to look like 700. So let's follow out that height of 700 and line it up with what looks to be the 38. So we have the first three points plotted now. The next one down 44 for x, 662 for y. 44 for the x, again I don't have exactly 44 on my number scale, so a tiny bit less than the 45 would be good. 662 I also don't have on my number scale. 666 would be a two-thirds of the way between the 600 and the 700. So by eye, that's what it would look like. Follow that out over the 44. Give you something about like that. The next one over 57 for X, up 550 for Y. So 57 for X, again, 57.5 is exactly halfway between 55 and 60. And by eye, it would look about the same. 57 would be very slightly less than 57.5. The height 550, so that would be exactly between 500 and 600. Follow that height out. Line it up with my 57 for the X, about like that. The next point down, over 60 for X and up 485. I do have exactly 60 on the X axis, so that would be the X value for the over 60. Up 485. I don't have 485. Uh, it would be a little bit less than 500, a little more than three quarters of the way up. Well, like that. And finally, one more dot to put on the graph over 63 for X and up 377. So 63 for X, again, 62.5 is right between 60 and 65. So 63 tiny bit further over and up 377 for the height so three quarters of the way up between 300 and 400 is 375 377 375 about the same height and there's the scatter diagram now again someone else may have run the x scale by tens and that'd be okay it would change how the graph looks a little bit but it would still be correct